Hey guys, so today um, I decided that I was just going to kind of talk to you. Um, I have a little bit of beauty to talk to you about, but um, it's kind of incorporated with what I'm going to talk to you about. Wow, I just said talked about like a million times. Anyways, um, I'm so sorry. I've been really, really busy, and the reason is because I'm actually an actress. Um, I've done a couple of independent films, and uh, one of them premiered this past weekend. Uh, it was called The Fifth Door, and if you want to know anything about it, we are on Facebook. You can just go to The Fifth Door, you know, search that. Um, so we had our premiere, and this has been a movie that has been in the making for two years. That probably sounds like it's really big and professional and fancy and stuff. It was not. It was an independent film. Uh, we had a really small cast and crew, but it was a lot of fun to work on, and I actually had one of the leads. Um, it's basically about five girls who go to, uh, who are at a sleepover and something kind of terrible happens and they have to figure out how to, um, get out of it. I'm sorry if my camera is shaking. It's sitting on boxes on my bed. But anyways, um, that's why it's shaking. So I decided that I was gonna tell you guys about it. I wasn't really sure if I wanted to, but then I figured, you know what, that's like a really big part of me. And, um, you guys should know, like, you should get to know me or whatever. If you're following my videos, like, I shouldn't keep secrets or whatever. Like, that's not cool. So acting is a huge part of my life, and I really love it, and that's what I want to pursue as a job and acting career. Um, so the things that I could totally incorporate into this video that I was thinking of was what I wore to the premiere and what other girls in the cast wore to the premiere. Um, one of my fellow castmates, Melanie, she wore a Betsy Johnson dress. It was a really cute, like, uh, light blue teal color Betsy Johnson. I ended up buying a dress at Kohl's, and it's a Lauren Conrad dress. She has, like, a whole line there at Kohl's, and oh my gosh, I, I didn't really know what I wanted to wear. Like, I, I went out a couple days before the premiere and was like, oh, you know, maybe I'll try to find a dress this way I have something new. And I went to Kohl's because I had a gift card there, and I was looking in, like, the preteen section just because it's kind of where I've always shopped when I went to Kohl's. Um, I used to shop there a lot when I was younger, but now that I'm, I've gotten, you know, older, I'm, like, in my late teens now, um, kind of not so much. But I figured, you know what, they have really good deals, and I'll see if I can find something there. So I went to the preteen section, and they have a lot of... Um, they have a lot of like cocktail dresses and things and that wasn't really what I wanted to wear. I wanted, you know, a pretty a pretty dress but not not so 8th grade formal, you know. So, I went over into their like adult section, like the women's section, which I kind of thought was weird. I was like, I think it's, I'm only going to find like old people clothes in here. No, like JLo has a line in there with a lot of, you know, lo younger looking clothes and Lauren Conrad, which was the dress that I got was a Lauren Conrad dress. So pretty. And it's um, kind of a pink color, um, but like a strange pink color, not like your average pink. Um, and I wore some black heels that I actually already had. And I think they're Steve Madden, but I'm not sure, so don't go by me. I'll put like a no annotation or whatever. I straightened my hair and then I curled the ends of it and I put it into like a side ponytail and wrapped a piece around it so you couldn't see the band which looked really, really cute. Um, oh, and I got a spray tan, so that was really exciting. I've, I'm really, really fair-skinned, and I don't tan very much in the summer. When I do tan, nobody can tell because I'm so fair that it just looks like what anybody normal looks like in the winter. So I got a spray tan, and oh my gosh, it was the scariest thing ever. I've never gotten one done before. Um, I talked to my cousin, though, because she had gotten it done when she got married, and she was just telling me like different things that you should do. She was like, put the lotion on your hands so they don't turn orange and do this and do that. So I got there and you watch like a video before you go into, because I got it done in like a machine. And you watch this video and there's like a million and one steps. And I was so afraid that I was going to forget one and like mess it all up because I'm a huge fan of the TV show Friends. And there's an episode where Ross gets a spray tan and he does not turn around and he turns orange and only like in the front though like he keeps going in to get it like to try to get it fixed like to try to even it out and he keeps only getting sprayed in the front and if you do not turn that can happen I was so freaked out so everything went well I was all even when I came out of the thing there were three shades you could choose from light medium dark and 
I was really nervous. I wasn't going to go dark. I knew that. I was really nervous about going medium, but the girl who worked there was like, yeah, do the medium. Everybody does the medium. And they say you can't shower afterwards for four to six hours. Now, I kept it on. I got it done in the morning, and I didn't shower until, like, the next day because I really wanted it to soak into my skin. So by the next morning when I woke up, I was so dark. So if you are fair skinned and you go to get a spray tan, get the light. You don't need a medium at all. I was like a totally different race. I realized that I didn't have any cover up that was dark enough and I was freaking out. Well, my grandmother um, probably like a week ago gave me an Allure magazine and I was looking through it and remembered that there were samples of Chanel cover up inside of the magazine and I was like oh I hope one is my shade and sure enough one was the shade so I wore Chanel cover up to my movie premiere that was really cool because I've never ever owned anything Chanel and I love their line I like follow their you know fashion and stuff like that I think everything is really pretty but um, I'm a babysitter so I and you know a starving artist Ch Chanel isn't really in the budget of a babysitter. I did all, all my makeup myself and my hair myself and I was really pleasantly surprised with how my hair came out. I'm really weird about my hair. It's really frizzy. It gets really dry. It's really long. It's super curly. It's so thick. So hard to manage and um, a work in progress every day on my hair. So that's pretty much that. We at a small film festival in Atlantic City called the Down Beach Film Festival. I was actually nominated as Best Actress. I was up against seven other girls. I did not win, but my movie won two awards, Best of the Festival and Best of New Jersey, and I was so happy about that. Was, oh, I got my nails done. Okay, I got my nails done a week before the premiere because me and my friend, we... Um, we were just like really bored one day and we're like, oh, let's go get our nails done. So we get to the place and I was like, well, maybe I can try to get it to last until my premiere. I know that's crazy because usually a manicure, manicure, blah, 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 blah. usually a manicure for me only lasts about, gosh, I don't know, like four days. Um, so I talked to the lady as she was doing my nails and I was like, what is the best thing to do to keep my nails perfect? And she was like, just put clear coat on them either tonight or tomorrow morning. So every other day I put a clear, I put clear coat on. And actually this has now been like a week and a half. If you can see that and my nails are still almost perfect. I think only two of them have chipped, but they lasted until the premiere. They were so perfect to the premiere and stuff like that. And the color of my nails is actually very, very close to the color of my dress, which is sitting over there. That's why I'm pointing. It took a lot of work to keep them really neat. It was, it was crazy. I was like, picking everything up just with like the pads of my fingers you know like not picking at anything with my nails it was really hard um but I think the clear coat every other day really really helps so try that if you get a manicure and you want it to last a really long time do that because it really works I'm so sorry again that my camera keeps shaking because I keep nodding my head which then causes my camera to shake because like I said it's on boxes um I'm really tech savvy oh hey my outfit right now I'm wearing lucky brand jeans see I'll just put my foot up there that was really weird and awkward but I'm just wearing some jeans and I just have on a red tank top I have this really cute tan scarf which I actually bought in New York City on Canal Street um, if you've never been to Canal Street you should totally go there it's really really cool I like this white sweater and I'm trying to think of where I bought it I think I got it at like Marshall's or something I think it's Julie's Closet brand I love Julie's Closet by the way since I'm Julie. Anyways, um, that's not the only reason why I like Julie's closet. They have great clothes. I need to edit this together and condense it, and I guess I'll talk to you guys soon. I know I promised a nail video, um, and it didn't really work out all that well, so, um, I'm gonna try, I don't know, some sort of tutorial or something. I I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do yet, and, uh, oh! Um, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put together outfits that are inspired by something else. So, um, maybe that'll be my next video. I'm, I'm gonna try to film another video soon. My camera's shaking. Alright, it's 15 minutes. I've gotta go. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!